Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is, of course, a sun, moon, rising reading. It's for everybody, including cross watchers, new viewers, new subscribers. Please feel free, take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's just give the cards a good shuffle before we get into this. Going on for my Scorpion friends, January 2022. Oh, star card. A lot of you are wishing. Let's see if that's if that's meant to come out. It'll come out again. It could be some of you could be dealing with an Aquarian. Here we go. Well. What a surprise, bringing a lot of whole load of memories back. Reconciliation, somebody from your past coming back on the scene very, very suddenly without warning. Now that's not for all of you for, you know, there was a, a situation with this person where, you know, it just crumbled. The sudden revelations here are a surprise. I feel when you last saw this person, they had changed. They were very, very different to what they're acting now. Your dilemma is you're perhaps in a situation that you need to let go of. You know, it's a situation that is OK on a lot of levels, but it's not emotionally satisfying you. And there's a decision here on which way to go. Either way, there's a power switch. You know, this person you're dealing with, this person from the past, they controlled everything in the past. You know, what was happening and things were taken very, very lightly on their side. It never, your hopes and your dreams never really materialised with this person in the past. Hmm. There's kind of a smug satisfaction with this. A lot of you knew this person would come back in. Which gives you a sense of power. Mm. They've been thinking about it a long, long time. Behind the scenes. Never said anything. But they've been doing a lot of reevaluating. They've been doing a lot of regretting. If somebody here wants to make amends. They want to put things right there was a third party involvement and that third party could be religious beliefs you know different upbringing it could be a mother or a father or a parent or a child but either way there was a third party involvement was in the past you know it was a strong connection but somebody made a judgment call As I say, this person's intuition, you know, has started to build up, but because of split loyalties, a judgment call was made, and now there's some regrets here, and somebody's regretting a decision and an option that they took. And they've been thinking, you know, you as well, you've... It's, it's a connection neither of you has ever really let go of. You may have been... Excuse me... Oh, it does. It's, it's, you know, you've, a soulmate, perhaps, for some of you. You know, you've, you've always been with each other, even not on the physical plane, but you've always been with each other emotionally. But I'm getting either you, at the time you were with this person, or they, at the time they were with you, we're dealing with your past or their past. In other words, an ex. So it's like two exes. This is in the past. And that's why it didn't work. And now that's not worked again. 
there's a reconnection of you two because it is perhaps meant to be. There is karma here. I'm getting karma here. I'm getting a lot of communication coming in from nowhere very quick. You know, somebody here feels they lost something and they want to repair it. But as I say, some of you could be in another connection, you know, and if you want to pursue this, it's a question of losing something to gain something. They are perhaps in another connection, same for them. It's quite a complicated situation, this. Yeah, big, big changes, but you're not going to need time to think about it. Some of these changes too quickly, you definitely, you definitely feel you must take time out. I'm getting there's going to be, you know, very passionate exchanges here, perhaps verbally and otherwise. It's it's like everything's going to come to a head in the near future. And it's a like a fiery climax. But I must admit, these fiery climaxes tend to go either way. You know, there's somebody here going to lose something to gain something. Mm. A lot of you are in another connection, dating somebody. You could be dating two or three people and you're very fond of one or two of them. This is what I mean by, you know, making a choice and following up that. But you're being very practical about it as well. You know, it's finally, you know, the power comes within you. And as I say, right from that chariot, you're controlling this. There could be children involved in this as well. But there's a Sagittarian energy here you're dealing with. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Sagittarius. And, you know, they could have children. But there's, they've also got many a virus. As I say, there's choices all around here. Big surprise. As I say, everything come into a fiery climax which will enable you to make a decision. And this is karma. This is karma at work. You know, this not knowing, this secrets and all this, and people not revealing what's really happening, not telling the truth. It's, it's karma working everything to a head so that it brings everything out into the open. Yep. Now, whether you want to go forward with this or not, you're certainly going to put up some healthy boundaries. And there is some forgiveness here. But most of all, forgiving yourself. Now, if you're the one that's been duped, you know, or tricked in any way, or took for granted, you know, that old saying, you know, abuse me once, shame on you. Abuse me twice, shame on me. Healthy boundaries. I'm getting, though, that going forward, you'll stand up for yourself. You know, you'll learn to forgive yourself. You'll learn to say, I made a mistake. You know, I let myself get drawn in. And this time, you know, arm's length. Only so far. Healthy boundaries and all that. But you'll be very, very determined you know, you certainly won't want to repeat past cycles. In this deck, that face in the window, by the way, is the devil. That's all about temptation. Resisting temptation. That's what springs to mind with these two cards as well. There's a lot of passion here. Certainly on their side. Some on your side. Confidence is the key. Confidence in yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.